You read the title right. This is not a drill, this is not clickbait. Every single one of you guys watching at home can get a free piece of gold bullion shipped directly to your door, no strings attached, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Silver Picker here and welcome to the Silver Picker Squad. Now, today's video is going to be an interesting one because it is about one of the absolute most unique products I have ever featured on this channel. This is going to be about a bullion product that, well, actually calling it a bullion product is even a little bit of a misnomer because it is so much more than that. What we're going to be talking about today is the Goldback. Goldbacks are a brand new revolutionary gold-based currency produced in the state of Utah for trade in commerce. Now, what does that mean? What we're talking about is this bill over here. Yes, this is a flexible bill, just like a dollar bill, but instead of being backed by gold, like the old gold standard bills in the United States and other countries where the dollar bill was actually a representation of gold held in some federal safe, this cuts out the middleman. This is a spendable bill made out of real 24 karat 999 pure gold. Well now before we dive into all the different ins and outs of the gold back, I want to talk a little bit about the history that led up to its creation. Well, you may be sitting there and sort of scratching your head and thinking to yourself, gold back, gold back, gold back, I know that term. Well, you're probably thinking of the gold backing of currency during the time of the gold standard. The gold standard was a monetary system in the US and in many other places where a paper dollar bill was actually a representation of physical gold sitting in government coffers, meaning you could actually take your worthless dollar bill, bring it to the bank and exchange it for valuable physical gold. Well, of course, that system has been abolished long ago and it has been replaced by what is called fiat currency, which is what we have today. Fiat, which is another term for edict or decree, is basically a system in which the money is worth something by decree of government. The government says that this is worth something and therefore it is. Well, you can imagine that there are a lot of people who are skeptical of the government, and rightly so. I mean, there have been hundreds if not thousands of governments over the course of humanity and civilization that have collapsed due to economic issues. We've even had, of course, serious economic disasters in our own lifetime. Well, I'm not certainly one of these people that is really all about the doom and gloom of the American system. I think the, the American financial system is quite strong and will be for many, many years to come. Well, just because I have faith in the United States government and the United States financial system doesn't mean that that will always be true and it doesn't mean that we will always be safe from economic collapse. So of course, even though I have plenty of my savings in good old fashioned greenbacks, I also have plenty of silver, I am the silver picker after all, plenty of silver and other investments and other alternatives to being stuck in a situation where the United States currency drops dramatically. And that brings us to the gold back. Now, the Goldback is the creation of a company in Utah that believed that we need a true alternative to the United States dollar bill. Now, you could say, well, we already have gold bullion, we already have silver bullion, but that is not a true alternative because bullion is not really spendable in commerce. Well, you could talk all you want about how gold and silver are real money and you could scream it from the rooftops, but the reality is, you can't just go to the grocery store with your American Silver Eagle or a piece of gold bullion and buy your groceries. It just doesn't work that way. And to be totally frank, I don't think you'd want it to. I mean, do you really want to carry around a satchel full of heavy gold and silver coins everywhere you go? No, I mean, you go to the mall to buy a pair of shoes or you're at a ball game and you want a hot dog, you're gonna carry around this heavy satchel full of gold coins? It just doesn't make sense. It's not how things are done. And, and to be frank, we've moved beyond that. But that's kind of the benefit and the brilliance of the gold back. The gold back, while it is a totally good means of, of preserving wealth in the form of gold bullion, I mean, if you want to buy a stack of these and put them in your safe as a, as a means of, of buying bullion, perfectly fine. They're perfectly good at that. But the real intention, the real benefit of these is that they are really intended to be a replacement or an alternative for this, a small denomination way to spend gold in regular, ordinary, everyday commerce. I mean, never before have you been able to buy a small ticket item like a jug of milk or a pair of shoes with gold because 
frankly, technology didn't allow it. There was no way to have a practical form of gold that you could also spend on small ticket items. But Valorum, the company that produces these goldbacks for Goldback Inc., has a patented technology that allowed them to do just that. And that is what's so cool about that. You can actually spend these for real goods and services. But that's not just some highfalutin pie in the sky thing that came down from on high from Goldback Inc. saying, yeah, someday in the future we're gonna be able to spend these in stores and buy whatever you want. No, that's something that's going on today, right now, in the state of Utah, there are literally hundreds of stores that accept Goldbacks as a form of payment. I'm, I'm dead serious. You can, I'm not just talking about the small independent guys either. I'm talking about law firms, dental practices, even automobile dealerships are accepting Goldbacks in the form of payment. Yes, you can get your teeth cleaned or you can have a contract done or you can even buy a car using in gold bags. And it's not just in Utah, it's also spread to other states and even other countries. I actually discovered gold bags on Reddit because I saw a guy, I don't remember what state he was in, but he actually bought a pie of pizza using gold bags. And when I saw that, I was like, I was like, this is revolutionary. I got to find out more about this. I actually ended up reaching out to Goldback Inc. and trying to do some kind of video with them. And that's exactly what you're watching. And Goldback was excited to do it. They actually sent me this awesome Goldback branded wallet along with a bunch of free Goldbacks, which is awesome of them. Thank you very much, Goldbacks. So they're the sponsor of this video. But it's not just for YouTubers like me. They're actually offering a free Goldback to anybody watching. Literally, Anybody that wants a free gold back, yes, you heard me right, that is a free piece of gold. Literally one one thousandth of an ounce of gold for free for anybody who wants it. I've never heard of a deal like that in my life. So I'm gonna show you how to get your gold back for free, but before we go into that, why don't we take a look at them? Let's actually look at the beauty, the artistry, and talk a little bit about some of the security features as well before we get into that. So let's take a look, because these things are awesome. So here we have the Goldbacks in all their glory, and they are indeed glorious. They are absolutely beautiful, so we're gonna take a look at each of them individually, but before we do that, why don't we take a look at the different makeup of all the different bills and what they look like as a set. So as you can see, each one has a different denomination and they're a different size. And the, the denominations go one, five, 10, 25, and 50, and each of those corresponds to a different amount of gold that's contained within each of these bills. So for example, the basis, which is the one gold back, is one one thousandth of a troy ounce of gold. And you go up to one two hundredth, one one hundredth, one fortieth, all the way up to one twentieth of a troy ounce of gold. And this is a good enough time to sort of explain how these gold backs are created. The way that Valorum does this, which is the company that produces these four gold back, is there's a thin layer of, of polymer, a little piece of plastic, where they're able to spray gold literally one atom at a time and build it up on that plastic substrate and then seal that whole thing up with another layer of plastic, which protects the gold so it can't get rubbed off, it can't get destroyed in any way. It's totally protected between this sandwich of plastic and therefore can be used and spent uh, you know, normally like any other currency. And of course, the different sizes uh, sort of represent the different values as well. Uh, I actually like the fact that they're different sizes. Many countries outside the US have their bills uh, getting larger progressively as the denomination gets larger. And that's in part for blind people actually, so that people who can't see the bills can still tell the difference between them. So I think this, this is a really cool setup. And I mean, you pick up this 50 and you can really feel the weightiness of the gold that it contains. I mean, this is truly 1 20th of an ounce of, of gold. You can really feel it. And that's really, really awesome. So I absolutely love these, and I'd love to take a look at all of these individually so you guys can see how beautiful they are. So let's start with the one. So here we have the one gold back note, and of course we have the denomination and the gold content like we discussed earlier, but there are a, cool, a few cool other features that I wanna talk about. And the first one is that it says one Utah gold back. Now the interesting thing there is that it says one Utah gold back. And right below it, it says voluntary local currency. The idea here is for that to be a really hyper local currency that you can spend on real goods and services. And what the fact that it says Utah implies and was confirmed when I spoke with the folks at the company is that there is an intention for this to be bigger than just Utah. Hopefully someday there will be a local gold back currency for every state and even other countries outside the United States. So who knows, there could be a California or a Wyoming or a New York gold back coming soon. Uh, I'd love to see in the comments below if you guys would like to see, say which states or countries you'd like to see gold back come to next. 
But speaking of Utah, one of the really cool features of the goldback is that because it is a local currency, the art is super representative of Utah culture. Now, each bill has a different tree, it has a different female figure, and each one represents a different virtue, a different Roman virtue. Here we have prudentia, or prudence. And this is exemplified by a woman in Native American garb. And more than that, the coolest thing is I was told that there are different symbols that all represent each of the different five major Utah Native American tribes, which I just thought was such an amazing attention to detail and such a really cool way to honor the Native Americans in Utah. So really, really cool. I mean, let's take a look at this closer. Look at that. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You can see some of the security features. This is government grade security features. You may recognize these kind of designs from bills from around the world. And that's because they use the same technology that gov governments use in order to prevent counterfeiting. So if you're worried about counterfeiters, they have a really, really good means of protecting that. And the, speaking of, uh, of, of anti-counterfeiting measures, the big reveal is I'd like to show you guys the back. The back of every single gold back is literally gold backed and you have a negative image which is basically impossible to produce and to copy without this technology that only Valorum, the producers of this bill, has access to. And this is so cool because this is where design meets function because aside from it being a gorgeous negative image of everything on the front of the bill, it's also an incredibly strong anti-counterfeiting measure. Really, really cool. So let's take a look at the number five, the five denomination. So the five has Veritas, and you can see sort of a pioneer lady. Uh, we're moving a little bit along in, in American history, and you can see she has two biblical books, Veritas meaning truth, and this is again a very, very beautiful, beautiful bill. Again, you can see on the back we have this gorgeous gold back and anti-counterfeiting measures as well. Super cool. The 10 is Justitia, or Justice, and we have this sort of uh, warrior, blind justice, beautiful woman in a gorgeous setting with mountains and trees and all sorts of other stuff. And it's, uh, again, just another beautiful bill. The 25, which is one of my favorites actually, is Victoria, which is victory, and this is actually a representation of the suffragette movement. If you can see here, it says votes counting since 1870. I believe in Utah, women had the right to vote earlier than almost any other state, which is super, super interesting. And this one is the, of course, 140th tri-ounce, 25. Really, really beautiful. You have a beautiful American flag in the background. And each of these was hand-drawn by the same artist. Look at that negative image. Super, super cool. And finally, onto the big kahuna, the 50 Utah Goldback Note with Libertas, or of course, Freedom, Liberty. She is a gorgeous representation of liberty. We have the beautiful fir tree in the back. We have animals at her feet, other symbolism, and super, super cool stuff. In fact, I'd love to see if you guys can guess what some of the symbolism is. If you guys can notice what some of this other stuff means, put it in the comments below. See who can figure it out first. I'm not going to give it away. It's just teeming with symbolism and beauty. Look at that. I mean, there are people that are buying these literally just to frame as art. I'm actually considering framing one of each of these and putting them up on my wall because they are really just that gorgeous. I mean, I am in love with these things. The second they arrived at my door, I've just been thumbing through them and looking at them literally every chance I got. Now, that brings us on to how you guys can get them as well. Right, so of course you guys are interested. So there are right now three different ways to get yourself a gold back. The first is you can buy them on eBay, but of course they're gonna be a little bit more expensive because eBay has all these fees, but if you're into eBay and you're used to eBay, you can find them on eBay as well as getting this awesome branded gold back wallet so you don't bend them up in your normal wallet. You can just put them right in there. It's specially designed for gold backs. Really, really cool. 
The second way is actually they are going to be on AppMex very shortly. If by the time this video airs, they may already be there. So you will be able to buy these along with your other bullion purchases right on AppMex if you're used to that. However, the most traditional way as of now is through the United Precious Metals Association or UPMA.org. So you go on to upma.org and you can set up an account and all you have to do is set up an account. You don't even have to spend any money and they will send you a free one gold back note. That is literally the easiest way to start your gold stack that I have ever heard. Literally, all you have to do is set up an account. They will send you one free gold back, no questions asked. So I highly, highly recommend you guys go to upma.org, click on the link below, you'll see it down there. So just click on the link below, go to upma.org and sign up for your UPMA account and you will get your very own gold back for free. It's as easy as pie. And if you wanna order more, you're more than welcome. You can order as many as you want. I know that a lot of people are ordering the ones in large quantities to give out as gifts. People are ordering the whole set to frame. And of course, people in Utah and elsewhere are using them as actual currency. So if you guys get your own set of gold backs, I wanna see you guys go out wherever you are, whether you're in Utah, New York, or Zimbabwe, and I wanna see you guys try and spend them. I would love to hear your stories. So post it to me on Instagram as a, as a tag or on Facebook, and let me know your stories about spending goldbacks. And I will come up with a future video where I show you how I am spending mine. So in any case, I really, really hope you like this video. This was super cool for me. I absolutely am obsessed with these gold backs, as you can probably tell, and I hope you learned a lot. If you're not yet a subscriber, please hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell next to it so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so, so much. I would love it if you'd hit that like button and help me out with the YouTube algorithm to get the video promoted more so more people can learn about this awesome social revolution and amazing, amazing product. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something. And until next time, Silver Picker out.